For all in the call, are any of you familiar with Spoonie, the Spoonie experiment? I don't even know what it is, so I'm yeah. going to say no. Yeah, what is the Spoonie experiment, Ken? I'm not. I'm kind of curious. Uh, Spoonie experiment, that's, uh, have you never heard of an online reviewer named Spoonie? No. Yes. You've heard of him? Yes. That's, that's his show name, basically, it's the Spoonie experiment. Oh, okay, never mind then. I don't YouTube, um... Oh, here's a question for you, John. Are you excited for the uh, new Stanley Parable that's coming out? That sounds familiar, but I don't know anything about it. So the Stanley Parable was this, um... Uh, I'm, I guess you call it a Half-Life 2 mod, but it's not even a mod because it's a full standalone game based off the Source engine. Mm. Um, and you play a guy named Stanley. And it's kind of like a really weird, um, thought-provoking game. No fighting or anything like that. It's just, you know, a walker game. And it, it was just, you had to, like, you know, download a, uh, either, like, Half-Life 2 or Portal or whatever, get the engine going. And it became so big that they're making a standalone version. It has great voice acting for the narrator and stuff. Um, I'll see if I can't find the Stanley Parable new thing, because they, it's one of my favorite games. No tears, Chenzo. No tears. Rub some dirt in it. What did Chenzo say? Don't worry about it. Oh, Pico, when you said that, honestly, got a bit teary. Oh, okay, gotcha. <laughs> no, one other comment I saw. Some inspiration, and you're pointing it out. God. I got a message saying, yeah, what if we paid you to do this shit, lol? I'd pay to see this funny shit again. Well... You don't have to pay. All you have to do is sit through the goddamn advertisements that you hate. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. I I don't like hitting the ad button, but I mean, like, it. I'm in a bad financial situation right now, so it does help a bit. Or you could send your money to protonjohnsa at gmail.com on PayPal. That's not my PayPal. Well, fuck me sideways. Don't send your money there. <laughs> nice try, though. <laughs> I I have toyed with the idea of putting up like a just a random donation jar, but I I'm one of those people that kind of hates posting about it. But at the same time, it's like, well, <laughs> out, John. I don't know. I, I mean, it's a good idea if it goes to if you can actually like say, well, if you donate, you can get this kind of reward in return. See, that's um, the problem. I don't I don't have that option. I no. well, you have you looked into something like Subbable? Hmm. Sorry. Have you looked into something like Subbable? Well, no, like, the sub button would literally be that case. Well, no, I mean, subbable, the, there's a thing, basically, um, it's a thing the Blog Brothers started from YouTube, and people can sign up to that, and they still, it's still subscribed to them to you on YouTube, so it's, like, normal free videos and all this fun stuff, but if they give you money per month, they get perks, and you can choose a perk. It's like Kickstarter, but ongoing monthly for YouTubers. Oh, okay. It's hey, a good uh, idea, and if it's used really well, I've seen a lot of things, like, CGP Grey uses it, uh, Minute... Minute Physics uses it, Vlogbrothers uses it, all their things do, do, and it's a good idea. Um, I don't know how well it would work for an lp -er, but it'd be interesting to see one tackle it. Amber has kind of a good idea. What? <laughs> Donate 10 to request the game for the stream. Nah, see, now nah, I feel like doing that would ruin the idea of Fortune Cookie and everything else. Yes, yeah, it would. Because I, I feel like that's kind of the main, I, I want to say, gimmick I have for my streams is that I give the chat the option to choose what game I end up with, and that would, leads to me playing... The entitled... Yeah, and I feel like he would just be like, "Oh, let's make John play a game he hates all the time, yeah. all the time." Unless you know? you've limited it to say like maybe to a to a stream. I don't know how often you stream because I'm new yeah, to all this. People would come in and see it and be like, "Okay, I'll donate ten dollars for the games this stream," and then there would already be two. So then John would either have to ignore that person or make a backlog. Uh, yeah, it would it would become a ridiculous backlog. That's another thing. Yeah. 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 Because usually it's like, I'll, I'll change games every half hour just to kind of mix it up for people who are like, oh, they're not feeling this game. And I'll keep it longer depending on, like, if I'm close to beating the game or if it's just kind of funny. Like, Tekken went an hour last uh, last week. And Dan, Ter Terracus Eye went an hour this year, or t today. Dan has a super sellout idea that you could do. Donate five bucks, get a shout out. Uh, that, <laughs> yeah, that's not the most solid thing I've ever heard in my life. It only goes to 150,000 people, not a big deal. No, I see. I did that for a short bit when people just were nice and just gave me donated for no reason. But then I realized, like, no, that's just gonna cause issues and see, make come off as entitled. So I'm like, I stopped doing that on purpose in the videos. Yep. Donate a hundred bucks. John performs a strip. Tease. You don't want to see me do a strip. That strip yes, tease. You Trust do me. Believe me. 
You, no. you, want, you want to find somebody whiter than you? It's John. Oh, uh, man, no. that's hard to do. Yeah, I, I'm like a step okay, away John, from albino. I am not pale, I am translucent. I, that's how I describe myself. All right, I tell glow me when in the dark. Start what? Tell oh, me when I you glow? want to start streaming. All right, well, well, we'll do like 10 more minutes of questions and we'll do that, okay? Okay. But, yeah, I am so white, I glow in the dark. That's yeah, just... how Brad finds me, like, if I'm asleep on the bed. He's trying to find out exactly where I am. Just put up the tip jar like Peekle did. I think, you know what, I think that might end up just being the solution. It's all, like... <laughs> oh, here's a good uh, question, John. Everyone oh. says, like, this goes towards better equipment for my stream, or this goes towards this HD camera. And, like, after I bought my laptop, I didn't have a specific thing mm. for it, so I just wrote a description, like, this will go towards, and then, like, every single thing I could think of that I would <laughs> buy with money... And then at the end, basically it goes towards everything. See, I kind of like what Cosmo has. He's like, buy me pizza. Donate, do, click this to buy me pizza. That's yeah. not a bad idea. And then people buy him like a $300 pizza. Yeah, I'd be down for it. That'd be a ridiculous pizza. It'd probably um, be five inches thick at least. Mm. So, John, if, if there was one game you'd love to LP and have tried, but for whatever reason it hasn't worked out. Um... Uh, <coughs> hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Are we talking about your situation, Patrick? <laughs> no, what? No, this question was for you. I didn't say anything. Okay, fair enough. It can be for everybody. What happened? Uh, I'm oh. just trying to think here Superman now. Superman 64. No, you know, based on that, how I keep breaking things, yeah, it's beginning to feel like no, it. That's, that's depressing, Patrick. I don't know, actually. Uh, there are some games that I'd like to LP... But I don't know if I could pull it off properly. Um, I had a plan a while ago for... There's this awesome sports game I really like called Death Row. Which is basically uh, Ultimate Frisbee meets Rugby. The, okay. idea, the idea is that like you've got teams of four. And like you're throwing this, this uh, Frisbee through a hoop. But like you can charge up the shot and like do like a power shot that can damage enemies. And the main gimmick of the game is that you can actually just win a fight by just killing the other team. Like That's there's, awesome. there's melee I'm combat finished. and throws. Night, Eckler. Night, Eckler. Night, Eckler. Good night. Good night. So, Good night. combat and throws. Good night. Uh, what I wanted, yeah. So what I wanted to do was I was gonna have a, basically a choose your own adventure of the game. So what would happen was I'd put up a video like, okay, hey guys, here are the ten teams we have to choose from. Pick us a team, and I'll I'll do like standard playthroughs but you guys get to choose like three specific things like you get to choose if I'm going to be aggressive and just constantly fight the team or if I'm going to be defensive and just like play the proper game uh, and then you guys get to choose things like okay do I buy this character do I upgrade this character do I do this risky drug that has a 30% chance of failing and making my character weaker just like things like that that would be an awesome game for an on for like kind of what Gerard was doing was doing with Final Fantasy VII, where he streamed it like a, a couple of hours every week. That'd be a good game for like a weekly stream. Mm. I want to do it as like a YouTube video and be like, all right, at the end of a video, just like click these annotations and like whatever the video the view count is on these videos, that'll be. Yeah, that would work too. Um, Sounds kind of like Blood Bowl. Yeah. I'm just not near yeah. my before. Quick question. Mm. Sorry, say that again. When I get back to my N64, I'll continue Beetle Adventure Racing. I'm almost done. I have, like, maybe two more videos to record and then the stream to do, and that's, like, two days tops worth of work, and then I'm I'm looking forward to that. Funny thing, John, that would be an amazing stream idea instead of an LP. You know, for me and John, streaming is becoming more and more exciting. The thing, the thing with streaming is that it's actually... This is honestly my best chance to play games I probably wouldn't get around to for a long time. Yeah. Like, the, I love the Fortune Cookie streams because it ends up making me play a game I probably wouldn't have played. Like, when uh, when Blue Dragon came up, admittedly I was kind of pissy when it came up. I was like, guys, you want to end a stream with an RPG, really? But I played it, and while I didn't sound too impressed, I'm like, well, I might continue this later on my own because this actually felt good. I might be in an RPG mood. Well, that and the, the Fortune Cookie streams actually make for good highlights and or straight-up uploads. Um. Yeah. Any streams do. I mean, uh, quite frankly, Patrick's uh, Dead Rising 2 upload is still hysterical, even though I sat through the entire damn thing. Yep. It also probably helped that the game yeah. was ridiculous to begin with, and then we were yes. just doing um, stupid shit. Yes. You basically, you're in a mall, you run around, you kill zombies with everything. 
Oh, okay. Um, you and wrote, Patrick was, dress, was dressed in a... What, what were you dressed in, Patrick? What? What were you dressed in for the majority of the stream? The majority of the stream was... You, you a, had those, like, coconut uh, bra on and... Bra and King Arthur's beard. Yeah. That is amazing. Yeah, yeah it was pretty ridiculous. Game. Yeah. We'd love it. Uh, and chill go boots. Forgot about those. Go-go boots yeah. under the hula Yeah, the go-go boots. <laughs> chill and chum, since you keep asking slowly. this question... Um... Initial, initiating me into gaming. Alright, I'm gonna answer Chillin's question here. I'm sorry, John, for pass, pasting this over and over again, but I really wanted to say this. When was the last time you visited Edmonton? And I did subscribe originally because of the ROM hacks, but everything you've done since has been gold. Thanks for introducing me to the LPs. Uh, last time I was in Edmonton... Comment. Half Half a year ago. I, I, that. I don't end up in Edmonton that often, because I don't have really any friends, per se, in Edmonton. Go make friends in there. Just start knocking on random doors. That Holding seems... your N64 and video games. Yeah, that would work better if Edmonton wasn't known as, like, the murder capital of Canada. Yeah. Don't die, John. Well, then clearly you need to make friends over games like Perfect Dark and... <laughs> <laughs> start walking in with copies... Like... Start walking in with copies of Call of Duty. He's like, all right, boys, this is going one of two ways. Either you shoot me in real life or in this video game. I'd prefer the video game. <laughs> Just well, my clear those are the video games that you make friends over. Those in Mario Kart are games you make friends over, or you you get shot. Hold the brutal moose in the Space Hamster video. Hey, bro, you wanna play some Halo Four? <laughs> <laughs> Paul, do you just do voiceover work? Paul. Paul? Oh my God. Paul? Wow. <laughs> okay. Wow, that sounds like a great guy. I should meet him. Paul, there, there Paul, Paul. Yeah. I've met many, many nice Pauls <laughs> throughout the years. I'm so sorry. That is my dream job, is to have a secure line of voiceover work, but from what I hear for new entrants into the field of voice acting, it's incredibly insecure and a lot of freelance, and I would probably have to live in California, which I do not want to do. It depends. Like, I know there's a lot of, like, voice acting work here in, in Calgary, of all places, so... Yeah, it really... It depends on a lot of shit, and it's really, really shaky and chancy, and people have to <coughs> you, and then shit has to work out. So, I mean, I'm gonna get my degree, but that's like my, my dream for my life, is to get a career in that, but... Well, um, why I ask is because I work at a college that teaches broadcasting, and one of the things they cover is um, voice acting and voiceovers and stuff like that for, like, radio ads. Um, so, and that's just hearing you made me think of that. And bye, actually, bye, bye, bye now. Um, but they do have a lot of things like all oh. over that, for things that you wouldn't even think of. Because one of my coworkers does the things for waterbeds and stuff. I don't know if that's anything you guys have up there. Um, no. and he's been doing that for years. So. Huh. Yeah, I definitely want to get into that but probably not until I'm done with college. Because if I start getting into it now, then it'll be like, all right, well, fuck college. I have awesome jobs. Or I'll be trying to find jobs. You ever tried, like, thinking about becoming a radio DJ? I feel like no. that would probably be easier to get into, and then you could go into radio commercial DJ work that way. Radio DJ would lead into it, or if you were, like, productions on a radio team, because my one of my bosses is a um, was a former radio producer, and he does a lot of voiceover work now huh i don't know man you can make a good radio dj i'm sure your college has one <sighs> on the radio station. that involves effort though yeah that's the thing i feel like eventually honestly like if i present some sort of youtube video portfolio eventually that will become a norm almost I don't know. It's possible. Pipe dreams. You never know, man. Yeah. I don't know. I'm just I'm just doing YouTube videos and college for now. I'll worry about all that shit at a later time. That works. I was just curious. Yeah, I'm definitely interested though. Just I gotta I gotta wait. Gotta get my shit in order first. Hey John, I heard Chugga Conroy has been working on a year-long Let's Play, and I was wondering if you knew what game Chugga's been working on, if you'll be able to tell us what it is. Ooh, I know! Pick me! Pick me! Okay, Patrick, what's the answer? 
I can't tell you, bitch. <laughs> uh, I, yeah, yeah. I can't tell you that either, but I do know what game it is, and I can tell you it's also the LP he keeps talking about that he needs to get buffed for, which... It'll be amazing. He's getting, he's trying to get buffed I, for like the dumbest of reasons, which really it's a meal, so it's par for the course. I feel is like it's it... it to play though, with the amount of work he's putting into it and how much he loves the game. Is it NES track and field? Yes. yes. Got it. Yes! <laughs> he's, but he's going to play track and field with a DDR pad. <gasps> That's why he needs to get fit, because DDR pads take more resistance. That was the quirky he's thing. He's not going to use the about. NES pad? I'm excited. Like, wow, the power mat. Um, clearly. Okay. <laughs> Is it wrong that when, like, you said, like, bitch, I was like, I, I'm so used to hearing Jesse from uh, Breaking Bad say the way he bitch. says bitch. 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 I just love the way he says that. It's so classy. Bitch. 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 Bitch! Suck it, bitch! Bitch! I've got six more of them here, bitch! <laughs> Anytime I hear the word bitch, I automatically think of the song Shoes. What? That's a place to go. No, because... <laughs> no, no, that, no, that's just a place no, to I, go. No, I can see. I can see why she thinks that. I can see why no, she thinks that. I can see that. it, just still. I'm gonna... <laughs> that's just where my head goes, because I don't watch TV. I'm gonna pick that up as something I say. I'm gonna try to. This is a place to go. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Uh, people are remembering the way uh, Meal said chance time bitches in Mario Party. Oh god, I think I missed that. <laughs> that was like two, three videos ago. It was like, chance time! Bitches? <laughs> it was the he most so awkward thing. It. it was so awkward. It's like, yeah, it's more like chance time! Bitches? Oh, that's... Like, are, are you bitches? I'm not entirely sure. Uh, poor I don't even know why he thought to say it, but it's just like, this is something you would never say normally. You would never say well, bitches at all. Well, like, because if you said it smoothly, it'd be like, chance time, bitches. Like, it makes sense. But yeah, then it, Emil... then it would work, but no, Emil doesn't have that kind of, like, badass timing. <laughs> that's what we'll call it, be... badass timing. Chance time. He doesn't have, he doesn't have the peak call timing. No, he doesn't have Patrick timing. It'd be kind of like if he was to choose, like, say, Chance Time, Pumpkins, and you're like, Chance <laughs> Frog. Chance Time, sweetheart. Pumpkin <laughs> exactly. sugar here. I swear, if you say that to me one day, sugar. you're going to get smacked. I'm going to hold my tongue. <laughs> Maybe Emil lost, it, lost a bet. No, he definitely did not. Uh, I also, yeah, I ended up following up him doing that as a joke. Be like, pay back to dish best serve cold, bitches. <laughs> or, or bitch. <laughs> Patrick time. Ouch! Patrick time confirmed for Bayonetta two. <laughs> oh, um, that's what I meant to ask you, John. Because I, I was actually going to tweet you about this, but because you're here and I'm here, have you played um? Oh, is it Hot Shot? Is it the game of that that FPS that came out recently? A first person shooter that came out recently? Yeah. I. It's, uh, it's it was one of those London Dare games. Oh, okay. It was a London. I've not played any London Dare game. Okay. Sorry, what, what sorry, dude. Doing? Oh, your legs warm, yeah. Um, no, it's it's uh it's a first one shooter where time only moves when you do. Oh, I heard about that. Uh, Peter Molyneux was talking about it. Yeah, I can't remember the name of the game. I just played it the other day, and I was like, oh, that's a good game. Um, but I want to know. I want to find it. Can you show me? Show you what? I wanna know about these. Weird games I like. John, do you get a lot of mail at your PO box? Will you keep the same PO box with a move? Um, not. I don't get that much mail on the PO box, honestly, because most people don't even know I have it. You haven't made an announcement video. No. So you can't get all the free things like. Uh -huh. I would. I, I wouldn't want to make an announcement video. I wouldn't want to make an announcement video until I'm at least like caught up on Superman again. Because then. Just at... make announcement videos for announcement videos. Because no, the... I have kept my promises. Please send me free things. No, well, no, 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 no. You understand the logic I'm saying here, right? Like, if yeah. I if I don't post the things Absolutely. people want, and then we'll suddenly you're like, the comments section, what? You will probably lose, eh, probably about 200 subscribers. I would guess. Is that how many you lost? I didn't lose any. I gained. Really? Okay. I was sick, and then I was like, yeah, send me stuff, and they're like, yeah, I want you to get better with my free things, and I'm like, oh, thanks. Fair enough. Yeah, no, that makes sense. That was awesome. But I mean. 
I was in a unique situation where like I didn't have a choice but to stop making videos, and then when I could make a video, everyone seemed to enjoy it. Yeah. Very unique situation. I yeah, my situation's more like where the fuck Superman? No matter what I post, there's a, and even if it's in the description, the first thing that it says is like, hey, this is what's going on with Superman. Also got people saying, where's Superman? Just make it the first thing in the actual video. I did that once and they still happened. Hawkeye, I have I don't think high grape soda. To be completely I I I literally I literally have I literally have people who see that I've uploaded a video, don't read what it is, just click on it, say where's Superman and then leave. Like uh It's it's dumb. I don't know. Thanks, Luigi, man. Appreciate it. Okay, so like I'll admit I would like besides the fact that I know it would annoy the piss out of you, I so I won't do it, but I would do that I'm peeing just here to like razz on you, but that's still a dick move. And the fact that people do that is, is... And the worst part is, like, I, people don't realize I have a quick and easy way to see what you've commented in the past. Yeah. Because all my comments go to my, my Gmail, and all I need to yes. do is type in your username, and then it says what you've commented over the past, I don't know, like, three years at this point. And there are literally people whose every single comment is like, where's Superman? Where's Superman? Where's Superman? They haven't... That doesn't show any like sign of them, like, subscribing, liking, favoriting, anything. It's all just, where's Superman? Where's Superman? Where's Superman? There's, they, that somebody has, I, I okay. Well, and the worst part is, I've even had, I've literally had people comment on Superman saying, all right, when's the next Superman? Like, in the first ten comments of a Superman episode, we'll be like, when's the next Superman? See, this, this, yeah, no, your fans are fans. I, I know that, uh, this is the thing too, and maybe just, it's kind of a mental thing I keep in the back of my mind. I know that as soon as Superman is finished, people are just going to unsubscribe like crazy. Which sucks. This is a depressing thing. Yeah. Which isn't aren't, isn't um a particular NES game coming up after Superman's finished? Um. I don't know if you've announced it officially yet or not. Which one is it? The one that starts with B? Yes. Uh, that's actually probably going to come up uh after the next episode of Superman. Okay. And, I didn't know what so like the order was. Although I might, at the rate that I'm having difficulties with Superman, I might just record it before I pack it up here at the house, and then just hey, you could have like an episode ready just in case. And yeah, no, I've actually have said in the comp in the videos a okay. bunch, and in the streams a bunch. Any, anyone reason? who's I anyone who's a regular in the streams knows it's Bionic Commando. So okay. One of the reasons I also thought you were gonna do Jackal. I can't remember why I thought you were gonna do Jackal. I, I and now people who are not regulars of the stream and are here anyway know that it's Bionic Commando as well. Yeah. There yes. you go. Uh, no, I don't think I said I was going to do Jackal. I think I said I beat Jackal in, like, my second or third try playing it. That's probably what it was. I, we were talking about a bunch of NES games that are all similar, and then they're, like, the top-down kind of thing, and then you start talking about Bionic Commando and stuff. I'm like, well, you could do a bunch of different NES games for LPs, and Bionic Commando is one of them. Jackal is another one I had mentioned. But you were super thrilled about Bionic Commando because it is one of the best NES games. Yeah, no, Bionic Commando is pretty sweet. And it doesn't help that I've been watching, like, the Grumps play through Strider. I'm like playing oh, yeah. that. It, playing that's just made me like watching them do is like I want to play Strider and I also want to kind of work on Bionic Commando again. What you need to do is play Bionic Commando and overdub it with the Amiga Bionic Commando soundtrack. <laughs> My commentary is literally just Tim Fullen music. <laughs> yes, it is far superior soundtrack. I don't know, dude. I really like the Rearm soundtrack, but I mean, I'm not. Do I'm not doing. Soundtrack is amazing. I'm not doing Rearmed first. It would be the original NES one. Then down the road, it would probably be Rearmed and then t Rearmed two. And then uh, probably dreadlocks, the but game it's good. No, uh, the game, the original Game Boy version of Bionic Commando is just a remake of the original Bionic Commando. Oh, is it? I've never played it. I just I've heard it's terrible, so I always poke fun at it. Elite Forces is kind of a semi sequel to the original Bionic Commando. Like the Elite Forces is the shit. Elite Forces is is pretty good. I'll give it that. There you go. And then uh, yeah, dreadlocks is the 3D one, so the the full blown console release one. Oh, there's a 3D Bionic Commando? Yeah, that, I just call it Dreadlocks, because that's when they redesigned uh, Rad and gave hmm. him Dreadlocks. I didn't even know there was a 3D one. Are, are you serious? Like, did you block it out of your mind, or are you actually serious? No, I'm, I'm probably blocked out of my mind. I probably played it once and decided it was terrible. Bionic Commando Rearmed was literally designed to promote that game. What? But it just happened that Rearmed became the more popular game of the two. Because Rearmed is awesome. Rearmed was awesome, yeah. It was the uh, same. Yeah, the same no. company made both games too. It was Grin. But uh, okay. yeah, like yeah, I've never played the 3D one. I, cause, cause in my head, Bionic Commando doesn't work really in 3D. It, 
Some th some things about it worked, some things didn't. Imagine a Spider-Man game. But I can imagine many Spider-Man games. Okay, imagine a 3D Spider-Man game. Okay. Where you can like free web, but there are invisible walls everywhere. But those invisible walls are actually just areas of poison or radiation where if you go in that area too long, you just flat out die. So kind of like the Spider-Man game for the Dreamcast slash PS1. I don't remember that being a problem in the PS1 Spider-Man. Well, no, it, it had it had the fog that if you fell into, you died immediately. Oh, but that's if you fell straight down. No, this is more like if you go too far left or right, you die. Oh, that's stupid. Yeah. Just make it free roaming. They had like a bunch it, of like if you went outside of like the intended area, but you could you could swing out there. If you had like an invincibility code on or something, you could probably just fuck around in the background. But it pretty much killed you right away. It was it was weird. Okay. Uh, I, might, I, might, I might still have to go and buy it. Bionic, Bionic Commando Rearmed 2 technically had a different team, but it was actually the same people. Uh, after Dreadlocks failed, uh, Grin got split up into three separate teams, and I think uh, Fat Shark or some Sharkbot or something like that worked on Rearmed 2. That is all Grin employees, so it's technically still the same people. The soundtrack's still done by Simon Vickland, and like a lot of the same people worked on it. Okay. So, Rearm Re Re 2 is good. I like Rearm 2. I haven't played Rearm 2 yet, but... Mm. I don't... I'm not... I'm not big into the new games, because I... My... The 360 is officially dead. Mm. So I don't I, even try I, anymore. Fair enough. I, I have so much shit. I have a pile of games I need to play through still. And uh, my buddy Sean, who I podcast with, will not stop hounding me to actually play through The Last of Us. Oh yeah, because like, I heard it's a fantastic game. Yeah. I, heard you, I mean, it's a game I can picture you really liking. Yeah, he says like it's only like 15 hours long. I'm like, well, maybe, but I need to be able to actually sit down and do that. Cause... Yeah. And I wouldn't be able to do it for a stream because it seems like the kind of game where I would actually want to just sit down and enjoy it. Yeah, no, you need to sit down and enjoy it. You need to be like in the zone and not yeah. be bent and everything else. See, that's the problem. Like, There's a bunch of games where I would like to just play, like even on a stream and just fuck around. But there's certain games where it's just like, no, I, I want to actually just sit in quiet. And maybe put on some music and play this game. So, yeah, because it's a it's a cinematic game. It's kind of like if you wanted to go stream heavy rain. Nobody's gonna go stream heavy rain. Uh, well, I can see. No, not they wouldn't stream it. Okay. No. So I I I legitimately have an idea for a heavy rain like LP that I think would actually work out kind of interestingly. Is your shit banned like Clay? Wait, what? Yeah, dude. That's why. I don't remember which channel it was that got destroyed by YouTube, but it was because of Heavy Rain. I think it was uh, inappropriate content claims because of the nudity in the game. Oh, uh, that makes sense. But how the fuck did yeah. PewDiePie get past that? He makes YouTube enough money to where it doesn't matter. Nah, yeah, YouTube plays favorites. Everyone knows YouTube plays favorites. Mm. Um, that and nowadays they kind of like look the other way a lot of the time. They're like, mm, not paying attention Whoops. to that channel today. I guess worst case scenario, I guess I could just censor shit. Yeah, you could you could censor it with comedic censoring bars. That's true. I'm gonna have to do that. Um, like Pee Wee Patrick's face it's... over the censoring bar over the censor bars. I'd be okay with that. Yeah, that'd be hilarious. Uh, Tom Fox, dude, you're you're a uh, Steam. Oh fuck, I can't even think of what. What is the animation thing they have made for Steam? Do you remember? What? There, there's a, a way to animate, like, uh, character, like, cutscenes in Steam, and I can't. It's like, not Steamworks, it's like. Oh, is that the thing Youngtown did, where it looks like Family Guy? I don't think. Source Filmmaker is what I was thinking of. Oh, from uh, TF2. Yeah. Yeah, okay. no, uh, Tom Fox did this really funny animation of, like, Mario Party 3 uh, in it, and I, I really liked it. And I meant to post it on the Runaway Guys Facebook page, but I forgot to do it. So I'll wait till tomorrow when people are actually awake and then do that. Yeah. Or at least I'll try to remember. Like I said, tomorrow is going to be move day, the beginning of move day. You could probably bug. Um, yeah, you, could, I, you can't really queue that kind of stuff, can you? No, not on Facebook. <sighs> Fucking Facebook. Link everyone to it. That was awesome. That's a good point. Uh, I will just do that. Yeah. Because it should be on my favorites list on my channel. Bye, everyone. I'm going to go lay down, but you'll have Brad for a little bit longer. All right. Yeah. We'll probably.